All right, we're going to begin with a very simple future value project using our BA2+. The first thing we want to do is make sure we clear our register. So we're going to hit Clear All down there in the left-hand corner. Then we're also going to hit our second key, which is the yellow key, and the FV key, which for our second function is Clear TVM. In order to do a future value project, we want to input our present value, our interest rate, the number of years or periods before we are going to collect our future value, and we're going to solve for future value. So let's begin with a $6,000 present value. So we put in $6,000, change our sign because it's an outflow as a present value. We're going to have 5% interest rate, so we hit 5, and then we hit the I key, and we do not need to put it in decimal point. Uh, we can use the regular integer. And then let's say we're going to let it uh, build up for 20 years. So we put in 20 and our N. Our payment, we're not going to make any other payments other than that. So payment is 0. And we're going to hit our compute key, which is up here, compute FV. And we're going to find that we would have $15,919.79. At the end of that. So that is a future value calculation. Next, we're going to do a present value calculation. So we're going to hit clear all and we're going to clear our register. Let's say that we expect to get $50,000 sometime in the future. So that's going to be our 50000 We put FV. And let's say we're going to get it 16 years from now. So 16 would be our N. And let's say that we're getting. 4% interest rate, so we'd hit 4 and our I, and we're not going to get any payments in between, so that 0 would be our payment, and we're going to compute our PV. And our PV is at 26695 So that's what we would have to put away now if we wanted to have $50,000 in 16 years at, I believe it was 4% interest. So that's future value and present value using the BA2+.